On to race number seven, and uh, the seventh on the program, the second last class three over the 1800 metres, with Victory Boys getting the blinkers back on for the first time since 2015. Another super here, super chic. He was super. Last time out over the 2200 metres, Willie Way beaten favourite on the All Weather last time out. Crown Avenue has uh, won over the 1650 two starts back. Uh, that was again was on the All Weather. Quick return tries the course and distance for the first time. Ty Smart disappointing at Chartin last time out, and Ten Flames who was behind Super Chic here. Um, over the 2200 last time. Not a huge amount of pace here, Andrew. Red Marble generally not far away from the lead in most of his starts. He could even take it up here. McQueen, 10 flames, probably to roll over. He's a point away from a drop in grade. He rolled forward last start in that race over 2200, won by Super Chic. And then of the rest, what does Quick Return do? Joe's sticking with him. He's drawn the outside barrier. Maybe an option of rolling forward. Uh, Victory Boys, uh, here he is now, and he hasn't got those blinkers on, as you mentioned. Uh, the blinkers do go back on, Andrew. First time for a long time he did have them on the start of his career here, so hopefully that'll focus him up for the connections. Super Sheik, now they rode him different last time, they rode him back, and it definitely seemed to work. The horse hit the line very strongly, and uh, good change of tactics there, and you can see he's come out of that race and no harm whatsoever. It'll be interesting from Barrier 1 what they attempted to do there. Quick return's a bit of a non-winner, isn't he? He's had 16 starts now, uh, yet to win. Uh, Joe Murray does stick with him. He does go all right, but he does this most mornings, so he just needs to put it all together on race day. All right, OK, that is quick return. Let's start off, though, with Super Chic. Um, at the back of the field here, we're just about to angle in back down to the inside with Kingsman, and he was just a little bit too good. Well, you said he went super, Andrew. I think you can just elaborate. He went super duper. He reeled <laughs> off 22.49 here off the back of a 2200 metre race at the Valley. Outstanding sectional. Um, we are coming back in trip. We know he's a talented galloper from overseas before coming to Hong Kong, had uh, very good form in Italy. So um, the drop in distance is a little question mark, but I think Tony Cruz has got him spot on at the moment. And the key, as Paul said, might be just a little patient early. Yeah, they're, they're, from barrier one, they might be just be tempted to ride him a little bit more uh, forward. But um, look, I thought those were the tactics there, and uh, they, and they worked. They definitely worked. If he reproduces that, then he, I think he'd be close to winning. Yeah, if he runs 22.5 his last 400 again, he'd be winning. All right, OK. Victory boys with those uh, blinkers back on. Maybe to sharpen him up a little bit. Brett Preble in the saddle has got a good record on this horse for David Hall. He does, and he'll be hoping that they draw a little bit more pace into the race and get moving a fair way out, because he's more of the, the grinding type who gradually builds his momentum. But he's a good, honest horse. He's got a fantastic record at the Valley, fantastic record for Brett Preble. And even though he's got the big weight on his back, I found it difficult to leave him out. Yeah, I did too, Brett. I, I put him in there for third. I think he can run a nice race. Just to see what, how he reacts to these blinkers is just a little question mark I had, but I still mm. think he'll run well. All right. Hopefully, I'm sure the idea is to sharpen up a little bit. We're going back yeah. two starts for Ty Smart, so I think you've got to probably look past that last start effort behind General Sherman. Um, here with Faithful Trinity. I, I like Faithful Trinity out of this. Ty Smart looks like a one pace sort of type of horse, what we've seen so far. He's very consistent. You can forget his last run because he made that mid race smooth and um, it didn't pay off. But uh, look, with the other horse, um, Faithful Trinity, I thought his last two starts have both been pretty good. Has caught the eye. Like him coming back here to Happy Valley. So look, I'm going to throw him in on the minor line. Yeah, I've got Faithful Trinity in, and Ty Smart has been racing well but gives away a start. Maybe there's a tactical change potentially with him if they can get him to rustle out of the gates. They might roll forward with him and see whether that can change the result. All right, OK, but uh, Super Chic is our favourite. Paul, to go back to back. Yeah, I'm going to just be, I get one to beat him. I had a bit of value here. I'm going to make this my long shot, Willie Way. Uh, he's had five starts at Happy Valley. He's been placed on two occasions. He's not just a dirt horse, I don't think. And he's coming back to some good form at the moment. I did like his uh, third behind raw performer two starts ago on the turf and then backed it up with another third. So I don't think he's too far away. And at $15, I'd, I'd like to take a chance with him. Super Chic, obviously the one to beat. Got him in there for second. Faithful Boys with the blinkers on. And Faithful Trinity, the one I said, uh, seems to be on the improve. Four, two, one and eight. But I like the four each way. Similar numbers working around the top of the handicap here. Um, Super Chic, despite the drop in distance, I think that was an outstanding win from him last start. He's taken time, obviously, to acclimatise, reach his peak get to his best form. We saw it there. I think he'll be hard to beat again. Victory boys, Willie Way and Red Marble should bounce to the front. And if there's no sort of um, changes, tactical scenario from other runners like a tie smart rolls forward or whatever, he's going to get it comfortable on the lead. 
And with that in mind, he should give a little bit of a kick. Obviously, the 1800 might stretch him, which is why he's in for fourth only. Two, one, four, three. All right. And we've all got the one, the two, and the four in there in some shape or form. It's super chic. The one to beat, though, there. One more race to go. Race number eight plus all the best bets. That comes up next.